Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial by No Code Africa. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to, uh, you know, build a food delivery application within Flutterflow without writing codes. It's going to be a very, very interesting tutorial. We're going to try to see how we can implement most of the pages that you see here. And um, by implementing most of these pages, you're going to learn some tricks and some hacks that will help you to design your mobile applications faster. We are not necessarily going to complete everything. I will just pick pages randomly and just design them. And within this tutorial, you will learn a whole lot how to make gradients. You will learn uh, pop-ups, bottom sheets. You learn a lot of things and then it's going to increase and improve your uh, mobile development skills all right within Flutter flow so um, I really want you to sit back and enjoy this it's going to be a very long ride but let's see how far we can go okay so for this particular part we will do a couple of screens and then I will show you that okay uh, sometimes you don't need to like create screens over and over again you could just like uh, duplicate them and use Wow okay so um, this is like uh, the designs we're going to make. It's a food delivery application and um, you will be able to get access to this particular Figma file by checking the description under this uh, video. You will see a link to, to access the file from uh, Figma and then uh, full credit to the person who worked on this. The name is also on the description in the, under this video. Also, um, if I told you don't have an account on Flutterflow, you could just check the description also and you will see a link to click to create a new account for yourself. It's free. All right, let's uh, get straight to it. And uh, sincerely, I want to assure you that this is going to be an amazing tutorial. You're going to enjoy it. And I would like you to join faith with me and just give this video a thumbs up and uh, just punch on the subscribe button as you begin to learn this, uh, you know, this class. Okay, so uh, this is uh, the platform we're using. We're using Flutterflow, so you will be able to build application faster than ever with Flutterflow. So if you don't have an account, just like I said earlier, just check the description under this video and you see a link to click and create a new account for yourself. It's free. And then also, uh, if I told you already have an account, just click on sign in and it will take you here. All right. Okay, so um, this is my dashboard and for me to start the project, okay, so I would just click on create new. All right, so uh, then I'll call this uh, project uh, food. Yes, <laughs> why not? I'll call it food. Yes, then I will click on create blank and then begin my creative process. So we're not going to connect this project to Firebase, so we will just skip this particular st stage. All right, the next thing we will do is we will just take off this app bar. So you click on it and click on delete. All right, and then the next thing we're going to do, the very first steps we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and check out the dimension of the screen. So just click on any of the screens. So I click on this, I need to see, it is showing me here 37 by 5 by 812. This is like the best screen to start building your application from because this is like the smallest screen possible. And uh, um, it will allow you to not suffer so much when trying to uh, make your application uh, responsive to other bigger mobile devices okay so always start with 375 and the cool stuff is that this design begins with 375 so let's hit the road running so here the width is 375 the height is 812 so we will use that same dimension for all our projects so um, we will just come here and how do we do that so you just click on here click on this particular icon here to uh, choose the mobile uh, screens that you want to use so we want to use this very first one here so I'll click on it and then we have the screen beautiful all right so uh, what next are we going to do we're just gonna come back here and then we start designing so this is the splash screen so if you come here to the widget tree you see that it says their home page. So I will just go ahead and then it's already selected on the scaffold. This is a scaffold. Then there's a column inside the scaffold. You can rename the scaffold to splash, all right? Just call it splash. I like to, uh, best practices, what I do is I just go ahead and then click on this and copy the name of the screen because the designer always makes sure that they uh, create uh, different names for each of the screen. So I just go ahead and copy it. It's like best practice for me. I believe it to be best practice for you too. Then come here 
and click on here and just paste it all right so i paste it and you can just click on this button and it's done now it's called splash screen so splash page 01 so whenever you're trying to locate it you can come here and uh yes we have done that the next thing we're going to do is start designing so let's start with this screen of course now this is the logo we will just click on it and uh, i will go ahead and export it so on the design scroll down to export click on export uh i believe my picture might be covering this but you should be able to see it um then click on export logo and that's it so before we proceed what you need to do is go ahead and check the dimension of the screen uh sorry not the screen dimension of the image the image has one to one by one to one point one three by fifty eight point eight eight so i don't always like using the overflows like the point one three point eight eight well you can actually so it's actually good because it makes it very specific but in this particular training we will just use the approximate so we will use one two two by fifty nine okay all right so i will just come here to the column and click to add a child to this widget that's adding a child to the column and i will pick an image uh and then i will say one two two and then i will say 59 great i believe that was what we had yes 59 and um i will just click on the uh, column itself all right so this image here is uh you know it's not properly positioned it's supposed to be at the center so what we need to do to make that happen is wrap the the widget with a roll okay when you do that it will now spread across like this and then you can go ahead and then um, center align anything that is inside the roll by clicking this button so now you have the image center align what we now need to do is go ahead and then change the image type from network to asset and then click on this icon to upload the picture so this is it and then i pick it up it's going to be inside here in a couple of seconds and then yes it is i will click on this right and then uh what i need to do now is i want to center these here so instead of trying to check the position from here to here and all of that uh you can just go ahead and center align it so click on the column itself and click on this to center align and then right now you have the a logo of the application in the center of the screen good stuff now we've done page one all right so the next thing we're going to do now and it's a bit uh, tricky uh, not too tricky but it depends on how the designer worked on this so now we are going to just go ahead and duplicate this screen since we already have this so we will go ahead and then uh, go to the widget tree uh -huh. uh, go to the page actually then right click on it you see duplicate page good now click inside the page so that you can see the new name okay here it is and then i will go ahead and then copy the name of this screen i'm trying to do so i double click on it and copy it Control c and then uh i'll come here you know highlight it and paste this and just click on this tiny button and that's it so we already have this scenario now what we need to do now is we need to go ahead and put these things that you see here so it's going to be a bit tricky but we would do it now uh you see the edges of the screens are rounded you don't necessarily need to do that okay so um what we need to do now is these particular uh you know uh what is it called this particular design here is an image so we will double tap to assess it so when you double tap you will assess it like this uh this was the way the designer did it so um you're going to just manage it like that so you will click on design and then export and then export ellipse okay let's see if that's what we have actually exported so yeah it shows here like this which is okay but now the thing is we don't know the size of this image if you say 292 by 295 you know this is actually a big circle you see it's a big circle so uh you can't just use 292 by uh, 95 so what we are going to use okay before we leave that let's click on this as well and it's the same thing so we will just go ahead and then export the design and uh, export it here which is good now what we are going to do is we are going to go inside the um, application like maybe go inside your system and you will see the uh, this is the the dimension of the um, files so for this one it's 217 by 246 so 
217 by 246 so we will go ahead and then and then make it happen here but now the thing is this how do we put an image just a lot just around our design like that so here it is and then here it is how do we do that do we put a row here and put stops here no so what we're going to do now is um let's go to the widget tree and see how it's been arranged so this is a row okay and then this is a column now in this big column is where we are gonna put uh, some things right so um, let's try it in two ways one will work okay so the one that works we just leave it like that so we will right click on this and wrap widget with a stack so it's basically a stack that will help us put things around our application anyhow okay so we just want to put it around here around this corner and around here so we just put wrap the row inside a stack and then the row is already positioned properly fine then what we need to do now is just go ahead and click add a child to the widget which is the stack and add an image so um now this doesn't sit well with me let me see if 400 uh, no, this doesn't work. This doesn't work. Okay, Ctrl Z. Uh, all right, so we will try to see how to make it work. Uh, it doesn't work again. Let's say, let's make this 800. Uh, it still pushes this up. Okay, so uh, we will say Ctrl Z and undo everything we've done so far. Good. Now, what I want us to do is we are going to go ahead and then wrap this column in a widget that is called stack okay so wrap it in a stack like this okay then let's add an image now let's see if it's gonna work great it worked now so now we actually have um, the image here at the upper part of the screen and it's not affecting this at all so with this now it works perfectly so now what we're going to do now is uh, check the dimension of the uh, file again so the file here is 217 by 246. So we say uh, 217 by 246. Okay, great. And then we go bring the image in. All right, so we will switch from network to asset and then upload picture. And we will pick this, uh oh, not this, oh my goodness. So this is the dimension actually. So instead of going inside your system like that, you can hover on it and you see it. So here is 184 by 103 yeah so let's change it 184 by 103 okay good this one is good and then let's select that uh, I pick the dimension for these other one and that's not what we want to use first so I upload it and then we'll have this design now so it's beautiful yeah so I believe that's it it has this design okay good really it's okay then what we need to do now is this same thing we will just say ctrl d so we've duplicated it and um what i'm going to do is this is the duplicated version right this is a duplicated version so i will change it now to uh let's pick figure out the dimension again of the other one the dimension of the one below is uh 217 let's hover on it and you see the 217 by 246 so we will say 217 by 246 then upload the picture and i click here to upload the picture and uh it's uploaded but the position is not right okay it's supposed to be here at the bottom so what we now need to do is click on this image and um actually since it's not like a specific image we won't really see the dimension but let's just try so from here it's not giving us proper proper things so it says 258 from here we will have to just use our eyes okay so we don't have the proper positioning like uh, the, the 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 paddings okay so let's say from here to here is going to be maybe 100 left to right let's say 100 it didn't work okay so 150 didn't work too let's say 160 worked okay 160 worked now we've gotten it to this point so we now need to take it down so we're going to say padding at the top this is going to be 400 didn't work let's make it 600 and it worked so we have it here and uh uh okay so um so uh it, it's not coming out very well right so 
but it, it has given us what we needed but uh, I think it's too much so let's say 580 uh -huh. let's say okay did it give us what we okay so somewhere around it so let's say 570 because I think we have some things that are really covered 560 Ah, okay, so 570 is good. 570 is good, and uh, I think that we are good with this. The height now, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, perfect. Now everything works out very well for us. You see, this is the design. All right, guys, so we're done with that. We will just jump to the next thing. So I want you to just, uh, uh, you know, get to see um, how to do these things. Now we are going to design this, right? We're going to design this and then we'll duplicate it for this and then this and then like that. We just keep moving this application really fast. Okay, so um, let's uh, let's proceed and uh, let's go ahead and then just uh, create these particular screens. And it's the same dimension, so I will just click on this and copy the name. It says onboarding01. So I will come here to the pages and click here to add a new page and then click on create blank, paste the name I copied, click on create page. This is how I design and I believe it's one of the best practices. So you can try this as well. Okay, now we have gotten this scenario now. What we need to do is start designing. So here we start with these. Now this is the image. Don't worry guys, this is actually an image. If you come to design, you will see, uh, okay, so it's an image, but the designer did not put any image, all right? So it's okay, but in some of the designs, we will see an image, but the thing is, this is just an image, so you can just use an image here, or you can use a container and then add a background to it. Anyone works, but I would prefer to use a container so that I can achieve this same grayish color, right? So, and then of course, I'll show you how to add an image to it. Now what we need to do is, this is 240 by 292, so I click on the column, go to the widget tree and add a child to this widget. The child is going to be uh, a container. The container is 240 by 292, so it's going to be 240 by 292. And then uh, we're just going to use the gray color here, so I'll just copy this color and then paste it here, Control V, Enter. And then it has some border radius. So our border radius is 12. So we would just come here and put the radius as 12. Beautiful stuff. And uh, the thing is, if you notice, it's it's not center aligned. And I wouldn't like you to start looking at the inspecting and then giving padding here. It's not good, it's not best practice because um, when you're considering, considering other devices, this is going to be really bad. So what I would rather want you to do is wrap this container in a row, right? So you wrap it in a row and then center align the row and that's it, you're good. All right, so the next thing you need to do quickly is you need to go ahead and um, uh, what do we do from here? Let's give the padding from the top, which is gonna be 114. So uh, I'm currently under inspect, that's why I can see all of these uh, dimensions around it. So 114 on top. So I will just click on the row first and then add um, the padding on the top, 114, good stuff. Then the next thing we need to do is I will add a row here, right? Yeah, I'll add a row and then uh, I will put this text here. So I just want to quickly copy the text and then click on the column itself, click on add a child to this widget, click on a row, and then click on add a child to the row and click on text. Good, we're doing things really fast and I like it. So we paste it, all right? And then another thing, uh, we have to always pay attention to the dimensions of the text. So here is 800 and then the size is 24 pixel and it's sen, all right? So the font type is sen. So 800 by 24, uh, let me just copy the color code. So uh, let's come here and change it from 400 to 800, change these to 24 and the font family is sen okay so let's see we can say sen okay so this is sen but now uh, we wouldn't want to be going around changing uh, the font color every single time because this is sen this is sen and i believe most of the text in the entire design is is, is using the font type sen so let's just go ahead and then fix these across our design let's come here to team settings go to typographies and icons and then come here to primary font family and change it to send. 
all right so we click to change it to send and here we can just click it to change it to send as well good and then that's that's it we go back to the widget tree and then now this font is already going to be in send all right see it has the same design now so we will go ahead and then click on this and center align it and then not just that alone we will go back to, okay we will click on the font itself and then look at the spacing between these and this object is 63 and then we will put uh, 63 here don't forget i'm selecting the role not the text okay so um i like to select the upper uh, widget in the hierarchy that the con that the, the the smaller widget is inside okay all right so what we need to do now is uh, we're going to go ahead and then uh, well we have to paste the color I picked yeah so uh, let's just paste it I think it's almost the same thing it's a big grayish not really super black that's it so here uh, we will just go ahead and duplicate this control D and we're going to use it for this particular font so I I double click copy the text check the font size 400 by 16 and then go ahead click here and paste it all right and it's 400 by 16 and uh great so this is it and i think it's center aligned yes it is so i will go ahead and then make it center aligned and that's it guys so but now this particular one is just 18 pixel apart from this particular text so i will click on this change it from 63 to 18 all right okay so the next thing we need to do quickly is this thing here so this is the uh dots that show right we're not going to make this dynamic we just make it static all right so there's a way you can make this dynamic uh, I will create a separate video for that sometime but we just use this static okay so let's just click on this and export the design the this is a lazy way of doing it but it's okay uh, it's a uh, 76 by 10 so I will just go ahead and click here uh, click on the column itself then click on add a child to widget add a row uh, yes I like to do it like that add uh, an image inside it and then the image is 76 by 10 okay and then uh, we will go ahead and then change from network to assets and click on this to bring in that small tiny icon tiny image so we put it inside here and then after we've done that we will click on the row that contains everything and center align it good stuff let's check out the spacing so here uh, let's go to inspect so that we can see the spacing it's 32 so I will say 32 here good stuff good work guys well done then the next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and put this button here this button is 32 7 by 62 I will copy the color I will copy the color here 327 by 62 so I will click on the column the B column here click to add a, a button so this is a button it's a widget so 327 by right 327 by 62 so we will say 327 uh, by 62 this is where you change the dimension of the button I will paste the color of the button and then scroll down I will see where to change the text on the button so what we had there was next and I think we have some uh, border radius so border radius is um, uh, what was it border radius is 12 so we will go ahead and then look for where to change the border radius here so this is it and we will say 12 good stuff so we have it now it's beautiful we just click on this and then go to inspect and then you see the space between them is 69 okay I like this stuff alright so I just click in here and say 69 we're doing a very good job let's close this alright so now this looks really neat and beautiful alright the next thing we need to do quickly is this text here it says skip so we will click here and then uh, what I would simply do is just copy this one um, yes so you try to copy things so that you can walk faster so I will just click here and then click on the bottom and paste it and then click on this take off the let's look at the, the distance so here and here is 16 so I will just change the padding on the top here to 16 and then I will change this uh, to skip copy this and it is 400 by 16 I will just paste the skip here Control V and come here and change it to 400 and change this to 16 and we're good all right ladies and gentlemen we are done with what we 
we're doing for that one we will just go ahead and then come to the pages arrangement here right click and duplicate page and this is the the duplicated page it's, it shows here so i will just come here copy the, the name of the second screen and click here highlight everything and paste it good stuff and then i will just go ahead and then uh, what else all your favorites oh okay so the only thing that changes here is this all right so we will just click on that and export it <laughs> all right and um, i'm exporting that and then i will come over here and then click on this and then replace the image get another one and i will see it here good stuff all right so we have these and it's uploaded then uh, i think that's all for that particular page nothing changed okay so we will go ahead and then um, come back to pages and then uh, right click on this and duplicate it come here to onboarding three and uh, i'm just showing you how this whole thing works so click on the screen here then click on this highlight paste it click on this check button click on this image we need to download the image first so this is it click on design go to export and export slide and then uh let's go ahead and come here and replace it we will start designing some complex screen very soon because the idea here is just for you to have an idea oh i just said idea twice yes the idea here is just for you to have an idea of how to design uh mobile screens using photo flow really fast all right so we have these done for us the next thing we need to do is the final one so we will just go ahead and then uh come here and duplicate the screen and then uh, click here, double click twice, uh, double click twice. Sorry, I'm really saying things repeatedly. <laughs> All right, so I will just click here and um, uh, paste this. This is good. All right, um, now we will just go ahead and then change this particular one. Let's click on the image and export it. All right, uh, export it, come over here, click on the image and then click on this icon and then bring in what you had just exported good stuff now we have this so we can just take a look at what we have done quickly and see how far we've gone so it's gonna take some time to, to load so while it's still loading let's look at the next thing we're going to work on now this is the next thing we're going to work on and um it's super really nice uh but i think um I think there is going to be, uh, uh, let's see, I don't know how this design was going to work. Okay, so um, maybe tap ones, right? Maybe tap ones and then this brings up, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay, maybe tap on this login screen and then this pops up. I think maybe that's how it works. Okay, so uh, let's try to create some of these, right? Yeah, let's, why not? okay so um let's create this quickly uh all right let's see let's see let's see what do we do okay so actually this is our work this is what we have done so far so um let me just show you all right so this is it okay now it's not showing responsive because we're not really like making it responsive let's just select the screen that we worked on uh okay so uh things are not really appearing very nicely there is a small problem i think we will work on this towards the end okay so this is it and then this is it and then this is it and then this is it like that you see it it just flows okay so the idea is for you to just be clicking next 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 and now that we're not adding any actions we're just focusing on the front end designs okay <clears throat> now we need to go ahead and then continue pushing right so um do I work in this? Yes, let's work in this now. So well, how do we create this? Uh, we will create a background. We will create what we have here at the back. I don't know what is inside here below, but I think there should be a button that says uh, maybe lunch or maybe anything. I will just show you how we can achieve this. Um, this, uh, this is the same thing we had that time. So we will just click on it and um let's see let's see let's see we can export this yes let's export it at once we will use it immediately 
and then let's start this background is black so we will copy this black and then let's start working on it um, but you see that this is almost in the same position like what was here so there's no need to redo it okay so we can just um, we can just go ahead and duplicate this screen and then set things running here or or not okay let's just start it from scratch let's click on here to add a new page and then click on create bank and then um uh oh i should have copied this so it says login empty so click on this login empty just paste it that's just how i do it and then i have this click on the up bar take it away all right the next thing we need to do is go to the widget tree and then we will go ahead and um let's start designing what is inside here this is what is inside the main page first so login so it's a role uh inspect it's 700 by 30 so we click here add a row uh this is our row inside our row we have the text and then we're pasting what we have here 700 by 30 you know you have to learn how to memorize this thing so you can walk really fast 700 by 30 and then i will center align it and then um, let's come here. All right, so now this is, this is a slight problem. The, not a problem, actually. This background is black, right? So what we need to do is uh, just, just change this to white for now. Yeah, so we don't, let's change it. We won't see it again after we've changed it, but uh, we will see it later. <laughs> Good. Uh, actually, we can see it because the background is not white. It's like gray. So we will come here to the column and we will go ahead and wrap this column with a, a, a widget. The widget is going to be a container. And then the container is going to be the size of the screen. So we will say 375 by 812. So we will say um, maybe 375. For responsiveness sake, I would say make the width infinite, okay? Infinity. And then the, the height, you can fix it to be 812. Well, I will tell you that in subsequent videos why we did this. Okay, so, um, and then the next thing I need to quickly do is copy the color here and then paste it. All right, so, and voila, we have this now. Good. Now what we need to do quickly is we will need to give it some distance, 118. So we click on this and say uh, 118, good stuff. And then uh, just like we always do, we will click on this and duplicate it. And then we will copy this. This is gonna be 400 by 16, you see here. And then I will paste what I just copied and change the dimension to 400 by 16 basically not dimension their properties all right so that's it and um uh what do we need to do okay so we need to go ahead and uh what do we do what do what do we do uh let's check the spacing between them so it's three uh so i will click on this and make it three all right so this is it and um i think that's all for for now so we will just go ahead and click on this column now what we need to do is this uh this design we will go ahead and then wrap this um wrap this column with a stack wrap it with a stack and then click on add a child to the stack that's add a child to this widget and add an image good stuff and then we will um go ahead and then change from network to assets and then click on here to uh, do our basic settings okay so here we go um, we will go ahead and and have it uh, over here let's say this is what we downloaded yeah was this what we downloaded no this one I think this is what we downloaded let, let, let me be sure of what we did so this is it uh okay and then we actually downloaded this let's just download it again okay let me just let, let me just be sure let's click on this and i'll see it twice great this is it so the dimension here is 141 by 130 let's just upload it 141 by 130 so 141 by 130 so i'll just click on this and say 141 by 130 you see now we have our beautiful design it's inside it's good 
great so you can actually click on this to look at how it looks like but i don't always like these over overflow colors here um yeah so i don't always like it very much so uh let's stick it off okay so what we need to do now and quickly is um the next thing is this particular scenario. So this is actually a bottom sheet. So what is a bottom sheet? If you come here to the pages, you will see that we have, this is pages and components, and then this is pages alone, and then this is components. So you can create a bottom sheet in the component section. So here we click on this and click on component, and then we will come here to bottom sheet. So you see here, these are bottom sheets, you can choose uh, to, to pick a, a template here or you can just create a blank one. So we will click, create a blank one and we will still call it login uh, Login empty. All right, so so I'll paste this and click on this. It says name already in use uh, Okay, so we would just say hyphen uh, bottom shit Bottom shit, okay so uh, click in that and then now we have it like this. What do we do with it? Um, what do we do with it? So we see the dimension is 375 by 579. So we will come here to the bottom sheet. This is the bottom sheet, all right? So um, what we need to do is come to the widget tree of the bottom sheet. So this is it. And then we will click to add a container inside it. All right, so that's a container. So we say 375 by 579. So we will say 375 by 579. Good work. So I will take this off so we can just see what we've done. So this is it. So I think this is a full thing, all right? Uh, no, this is not the full thing. Why is it not showing? Uh, this doesn't look full to me. 375 by 579. Uh, it doesn't look full to me. Let's bring it back and just adjust this. Uh, okay. All right, so I think this is, this is it. This is like the real size. Uh, okay, so maybe you just keep stretching this until you see the real thing. So something like this. Uh, this is more like the covering or some sort of mock-up. Yeah, so I will just adjust it like this a bit. Okay, so I'll take it off. Yeah, all right, so this is the design, the dimension. Um, what we need to do now is just start putting things inside it. So we start with this one here, email. Now there is something I want us to do. Uh, let's start with the row, okay? So we're gonna put these email in a row. Let's zoom in, double click and pick this. It's, uh, let's see, it's 400 by 13. Let's click this to add a, a row. No, we add a column first. Look at this. Everything is stacked from top to bottom. All right. So you put a column inside this container first. So there's a column first. Then we now put a row. And then in the row, we put the text. The text we're putting is what we had copied before. And uh, the dimension is 400 by 13. So I will scroll down and just change this to 13. And then I will click on this and center align it. Oh, no, not necessary. Then uh, what I need to do now is I want these and these to be together. Then I can just duplicate it and change it. So that means I'll put these two things in a column. All right, I'll show you what I mean. So these now is in a row. I will wrap it. Um, hold on. Uh, I will wrap these in a column. Wrap it in a column. All right, great. So this is the row now. Okay, good stuff. Then I will click this and add a text field inside this column. All right, so add a text field. And now you don't see anything around that. So what we need to do is, uh, let's see the dimension, 327 by 62. So let's say um, 327, okay, great. So it, it adjusts this, 327. Uh, and then what we need to do is, it has a uh, it has a background so let's see uh, when you come to the properties of the text field let's just copy this example first and paste it here in the hint text some hint text okay good now it's really grayish let's copy the the color of the hint text and um, and just paste it here 
good stuff and then we can check the dimension 400 by 14 it's okay that's okay so let's make this 14 all right so um we don't have uh this is there's a border color focus border color bother width, and a lot of things but we don't have the background color that can you know give these a background so what i normally do is i will wrap this text field in a widget and that widget is going to be a container so that container is going to take the the dimension of the text field design so 327 by 62 so i will say um i will say uh 327 327 by 62 and then I will copy the color of the text field. Like what we have here, this grayish color. And then I will paste it here as the background of this container here. And then if you see, it has some border, 10 pixels. So I will just give it some border here, 10 pixels. And uh, that's it, we have something. Now, but it's not really beautiful, right? So I will just click on the text field and then do some things around it. So I will come here first, go down, and um, here in the content padding, I will say 24, uh, too much, I will say 18. This looks good. So this is a content padding, padding the content inside the text field. And then here I will say 16. Uh, I think this looks good too, but I think it's more like, yeah, this is 16, it's okay. All right, so um, not so good because uh, this is still pushed down way too down. Uh, let's go ahead and say content padding here is 14. All right, so I think this is good now. And then what we need to do is uh, 62, this is fine. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so for this particular text, right, I'll click on the text and see the the spacing on the left it's 24 so um i will put a padding on the left here and say 24 i hope you're learning and uh, this is perfect now i will click on the column itself and give it some padding from the top which is 24 and then i will say 24 you're learning good then i will go ahead and then give some padding between this email and this text field so the padding here is going to be let me click on the row that contains the container uh the row that contains the text is here the spacing in between them is eight and then i will give it bottom so eight good now we have this right so we're in good shape now uh, i need you to understand that this has a border radius uh, let's come here and we see the border radius 24. That's this big container, this big uh, container, the white container. It has a border radius of 24, so I will put here 24. And uh, you see now it's carved somehow. Okay, good. And then uh, what we need to do now is this column, we're going to duplicate it. Ctrl D is duplicated. All right, so I will just click on this and change and copy the password. You see why I wanted to just uh, create it like that? So I can simply reuse it. So I will paste the password here and then come here. And then um, now you don't need to put all of this. Well, you can just copy it, <laughs> really. All right, so, um, well, you don't need to put, copy this. It's not, it's not necessary. Passwords don't have hint text. <laughs> so uh but you want to put this icon here so you will come here to the text field and then do something so if you scroll down scroll down you will see something called password field so you check it all right so if you check it and it says oh yes you now see icon size so you have to this is a toggle hide password icon so you click on here and then you give it a grayish color something like this will do give it um an icon size let's see what is the size of this thing 19 by 14 just say 19. okay then that's it it appears all right and then um what else now if you observe this thing shifts up a bit uh we will just try to adjust it so we will come down and then we will make this 18 okay so good stuff all right, so I think it's it's pretty good now. You can always add numbers to, to make that a bit, okay? So we need to do this particular part. So I will click on this and just copy it. It's uh, 400 by 13. Uh, 
let's click on this and see the dimension 20 by 20 let's go ahead and click on the column and add a row okay so we add a row here and then we add a container so the container is 20 by 20 so it's 20 by 20 here and then um, it has a okay let's just copy the border radius so border color it has a border color so it doesn't have a few color so we'll click on it and maybe clear the few color the border color we paste it and then not just that alone we will see the radius the radius is five pixel the border radius so we'll put it here five pixel and then that's good so the distance between the distance on the side is 24 so i'll give it some padding on the left here 24 and then uh, here is the next thing we need to pick up. So I will click on the row, click here and add a text, and then paste the text here. And uh, I think it's 13, right? If I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, it's correct. Then copy the color of the text and then paste it here. Okay, good, we are doing really fine. And then check the distance between them, it's 10. And so come here and give it some padding in the left, 10 beautiful then we click on the row again we want to add this particular one forgot password uh, well we can just duplicate this Control d to duplicate it and then copy this thing and paste it here okay and then copy the color of this and uh, paste it here all right good and then this is actually 14 so we're good now then what we need to do is check the distance between these two texts, 96, and then, so we'll just change this from 10 to 96. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and give some padding at the top here. So if you click on, let's say this and check here, it says 24. So we will add some padding at the top here, 24. And then the next thing we will just quickly need to do is we'll click on this button and um, dimension is 327 by 62. So click on the column. Click on add a child to the widget, uh, 327, 327 by 62, copy the color, come to design, copy the color, control C, uh, this is login here, and then paste it. You see, I try to pick up a lot of things while I'm working, just so that it makes me work fast, because uh, most times when you're working, uh, when you're building a UI, all right, you get to, uh, you have like a lot of screen. So you want to find ways to, you know, walk really fast. So you memorize something. So 30, 31 here is the space between the button. So I will just come here and then put it. You know, the thing is this, with practice, you will find some methods that works for you and only you. So here, uh, what, what I need to do is we need to create this. And so I don't want to do, I want to be lazy. So I'll just copy this and click on the column and paste it. And then click on this container and delete it. Great. Really fast, right? <laughs> I will just copy here and say, don't have an account. I check the font size, the properties of the font, 400 by 16. Good stuff. And then I'll click on here, paste what I had copied. Uh, and then make this 16. And then here on this one, this is sign up. It's all it's 700 by 14. So I paste it here. 700 by 14. Great. All right. So I will have to check the distance. It's just uh, 10. So I will change these padding on the left to 10. And then I will click on this and center align it. And there you go. I need to remove this padding on the left. And we are good. So don't have an account, sign up. And then there is all here. So uh, I will just click on this to duplicate it. Control D, remove this, delete this. And then just, I like to just copy. <laughs> so copy 400 by 16, click on this, paste it. It's already 400 by 16. And then what I need to do is these icons. So I will um, click this, duplicate it, delete this or, and then add um, uh, images. I will just add an image here. This is gonna be the image that contains all of this. So I'll just pick here, the image is gonna be 62 by 62. I will export these images first. Okay, then I will click on this, export it as well. 
click on this export it as well and then that's it so uh, this is going to be 62 by 62 all right so um, if at all you're wondering how this thing works I want you to compare yourself to a tailor someone who makes dresses all right so uh, when a, a tailor is trying to uh, you know take measurement of your clothes you discover that they tend to memorize a lot of things although some of them always have papers beside them so um, learning how to design really fast on flutter flow like designing UI will make you to have the skills that tailors always have <laughs> so you tend to memorize the dimensions of the things that are in figma you just pick it up all right so this is it i will say ctrl d to duplicate it look at the space between each of the images uh go to inspect to see that uh 30 so i will say here this will be 30 good stuff then i'll click here and duplicate again beautifully done I will go ahead here and change the image for this one to uh, this one and then wait until it's done then I click on this and change this last one here to this okay good stuff we, we, we've done an amazing job guys so this is it we have this beautiful design it's it's complete now how do we use it let's come back to that page that had to do with login button login uh, login empty so this is it so I don't know how the designer wanted to make it let's just click here and turn this like this I don't know how the designer intended for it to work is it that uh, maybe when they click on this or click on this text uh, right um, that that should pop up so I will just assume so for that to happen I'll click on add an action uh, cl click on action click on add an action and say on tap so there is on tap there's on double press uh, there is a uh, on long press um, so I think just on tap right so when maybe the user taps on this I want the person to I want the bottom sheet to be launched so this is the bottom sheet I want it to show click to select the component you want to show I want it to show this one and that's it so we can go ahead and then uh, you know uh, preview this particular screen that we just finished all right so while that is it's going on i think it's gonna just show us very soon let's look at the next screens that we're going to do so uh i will not do this one or this one uh this one this is just basically how it would look like when you turn on your keyboard i will show you what this is right okay this is for sending code for forgot password so you can just re-edit the screens and and work in it right so um i will I wouldn't want to be doing that all through this right so I want you I know that you can just redo it I will go ahead and do the ones that I think are difficult all right and um, so um, I, I think I will just go ahead and walk on the sign up part like really fast so you can just see how it's done uh, yeah yeah I'll walk on the sign up then we can just start doing some of this okay so the idea is I'll just do some screen so that you can understand how it's been done okay all right so this is what we have done uh let me pick uh okay so now this is not covering the entire screen i do not know why why is it not this is supposed to cover the entire screen i do not know why it isn't covering the entire screen anyways i know that some things are usually here in applications right so maybe that's why it's like that all right, so uh, maybe when the user clicks on this, then this shows up. I think this is what what the designer wanted to do. So that's it. So I click on this, it just brings up this. So you can you see how beautiful it is. Good stuff. Now, uh, what we need to do again? Let's close this. It's uh, the sign up button, the sign up page. Uh, it's quite simple, uh, but that means we need to have the sign up page itself so let's let's have it why not so let's go ahead and then duplicate this screen and then let's uh copy this uh-huh click inside and then um paste this here why not so here it's sign up i copy it and i paste it oh i'm trying to double tap <laughs> paste it here all right so please sign in this and say sign up so just copy this and paste here uh, good stuff 
now we need to put this icon here this icon for back okay so the icon is 45 by 45 let's just go ahead and we can just download it so the thing is this this has some bad practices uh yeah some bad practices but uh since the design is made up you can just download this really uh but if at all you want something to happen maybe this button should show some loading kind of thing yeah you might not need to use the images you might just need to create it inside your inside like a fresh but i will just use a lazy man's work which is okay and then back.png is good. It's still uh, best practice. You can use it. Uh, so how do we put these here? You see? So um, let's see. Now we can actually get to this one is here. So we will just go ahead and duplicate this. Okay. So we'll duplicate this. And then instead of design a button, we will go ahead, go to the widget tree and add an image. Uh, the image is uh, 45 by 45 so we will say 45 by 45 good stuff then let's change it from network type to assets click on this and then upload this and this is it that's a go great stuff now we have done that now what we need to do is let's look at the distance let's go to inspect and see the distance from here is 50 so let's click here and say 50 let's say 50 here and then this guy is going to be left aligned so not center aligned so we click on the row itself and say go this way <laughs> now uh there are some problems right so there are some problems because uh there is an image that is on top right there's an image that is on top of this so it doesn't show properly so uh let's see how we can fix that first of all let's just give it the padding it needs so uh oh sorry need this one uh, 24 let's uh say 24 no not this one that um okay so i won't be able to see it again let's say image yes so 24 don't worry we will arrange this it's just about arrangement so let's locate who this guy is this guy is this guy aha and then this guy is here and then this guy is here and then this guy is here so for us to have this guy at the back this guy has to come forward <laughs> weird right so we will we will go ahead and drag this down here and uh, well that fixes it that fixes this problem so we have this button and um uh okay so i think that's it there's some things at the background here which i wouldn't really want to go so far in implementing yeah because uh, well you can uh you can do it yeah but i will not go that maybe at some point we will all right so uh, let's go ahead and then we're done with this. Let's go back to uh, pages, then go to components, and then this guy. Right click on it and duplicate component. And then here, let's see 375 by 579, the same dimension. But let's uh, call it our sign up components. All right, so uh, this is it. So let's say sign up component oh no no not component bottom shit uh, it's good to maintain your naming all right so um this is it and uh we're good uh what we need to do quickly is just uh around this just duplicate this it's the same thing it's simple all right so um i will take of this okay and take of this and take of this and of course take of this right yeah so that's it take this off so here is uh, the column for this so i'll just click on this and control d this is going to be for name okay so after this we'll try to find something more difficult to do so i'll just paste this here and then uh oh no 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 okay so this is supposed to be name now so name here and then email here no no come on uh copy this uh okay and then paste this here good stuff so password uh uh retype password so 
maybe Ctrl D like this. And then uh, let's see, let's copy this and paste it here. All right, guys, so we're doing a great walk, if you can see. So this is it, it's done. All right. Okay, so uh, we're done with this. Let's look at the same, the next thing. So this is quite simple. I believe you already know how to implement this. All right, so it's quite simple. What I would like us to go ahead and do is maybe some more complex things. This is a chief interfaces, which we can do, but let me see where we would rather start from. I would like to start from here. All right, so let's do a couple of screens. I don't know how much time we have used so far, but um, let's design a couple of screens and then see how we can continue with this. So. Um, I will go ahead and uh, design some more screens. So if we do this and then do this, or uh, this is similar to this, so we won't won't replicate a lot of things. So I will just do this and do this, then look for something different and just create them. I will just be creating different stuffs, okay? Just to give you an idea of how these things work. So I'll click on this home, and then I will go here to um, the widget tree and then click on add a new page and then click on create blank and paste it and that's it so click this delete it click this and say 375 good stuff and then let's just design this thing though when we're done with this we will create this and uh maybe a couple of other pages and then we will end the tutorial okay so let's quickly create this how do you arrange things like this okay so let's uh let's do it now this is a row as you can see it's a row so we will just go ahead and then click on this to create a row let's go to our widget tree click on this to create a row and so a row we have created the first thing here is actually an image so let's just download the image right so i will just download it export menu and then this is a text so i will just maybe just copy it i like to just be ahead of myself let's go ahead and then add an image here the image size is um, 45 by 45 so i will say 45 by 45 network to assets and then click on this to upload the image and then at voila we've put the image let's come here and then this is a text and uh, the text is delivered to, so this is uh, a column, all right? So this is a column, things are stacked from top to bottom. This is a row. So we will just go ahead and click here. And um, all right, so you see this shows, but not showing very well, you see? It shows, but not showing very well. Let's click on this first and see the distance from the side. So the distance from the side is 24. So I'll click on the, the image and say 24, good stuff. And then let's wrap the entire uh, column with a container. Let's wrap the ent entire column with a container. Uh, the container is uh, obviously white. And uh, so we will say width is infinite. The height is 812. Okay, you see now, you can clearly see the icon. So let's see the spacing on top. So it says 15. So I'll give this row 54, not 15, sorry. Yeah, so it's 54. And then now I will just copy these, deliver two. I'll click in here and add a column. That's the row and add a column. Inside the column, I'll add a row. I like to do it like this and add a text. And then the text I'm adding here is what we have here, deliver two. And then I will copy this, it's 700 by 12. I have to check that too. So here I'll come here and say 700. And here I will say 12 and here I will paste the color I picked great stuff and then here for this one this is a drop down okay so what we need to do is click in the the column all right and um, and then click in here to add a drop down search for drop down okay so you see here drop down and that's it you come here to the hint text and paste what you copied it says halal lab office so this is it as well and um, the dime it's 400 by 14 good stuff but what we need to know is 107 
by 17, the width. So we will come down and say 100 and what? 7 by 17. So this is drop down properties 107 by 17. Great, that's it. Now, um, it, it doesn't show, it doesn't show properly, you see? Uh, because we have, uh, it's not really 107, this is just a text. So, but everything here, this plus this is giving us 100. I had to hold and shift to select the two. So 127.75, so we can say 126 by 17. So we'll say uh, 126, 126 by 17. So uh, is it 17? 17. It is actually 17, but it's not showing everything. So why? Um, this is 400 by 14. Okay, so uh, there's a problem. There's a problem. So uh, there's a problem here. What we need to do is... Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, so I am trying to figure out what the problem is. So one, two, six. The problem is with the height. So I don't know. Let's say 25. Yes, uh, I think there's a problem with the dimensioning here. So I will just increase it to 25 and I think it worked. So I think that's okay. So, but now it, it doesn't show me the office, right? You see, it doesn't show me the office. So, uh, I will have to also work on something on the, the, the width. So I will say 135, uh, 150. Uh, this is weird. One, 200. Okay, that's too much. Let's say 180. How does it look like here? Okay, so um, uh, imagine, what is the imagine here? Okay, this is okay. So, uh, let's say 170, 160. Okay, so I think we can use it like this. Then click on the column and do the left alignment. And then here for this, let's remove that um, margin. Let's remove it here. All right, so I think it is these margins that is giving us the problem we had. So there's four here, there's another four four here and then this margin here is um, this distance so it's eight actually so we can say eight all right so um, I think this is okay for us okay so for real this is okay all right let's uh, go ahead and see the space in between it's 18 so I will say 18 here and then we have some good work done. So let's go ahead and then do something. So these, I would have just downloaded everything, but it's not gonna be good. Um, so this is, all right. So I'm gonna download these separately from, this one will just be a stack because we need to be able to put these dynamically from the backend when we're working it. So we would just go ahead and export this one first. It's 45 by 45. I will just copy it actually, Ctrl C, and click on the row and paste it. <laughs> Great stuff. You see? Uh, all right, so we need to go ahead and then bring this in, like bring the other picture in. So this is what I copied. Uh-oh, it's just giving me only this. That's not what I want. I wanted this one too, so. Okay, so let me see if I export this, what does it give me? It's gonna give me everything. And I don't want everything. Let's just export it and see how it looks like. Okay, it's giving me everything. I don't want everything. So, all right, guys. So I will copy these, right? Let me show you some hack. I'll copy this and paste. Uh, drag it out and it keep it here. Good stuff. Then I'll click on this and delete this one. All right. So now I can just export only these two things. So now if I check it out, good stuff. All right, so uh, I will come here now and then import this. Uh, this is it. 
I hope you're learning. And so if you like this video, please click on the subscribe button, click on the like button too, and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I drop videos, you will always be notified first. I'm very sure you don't want to be notified last. So I will right click on this and wrap it in a stack because uh, it will allow me to be able to put these other thing here. There's two here. So, so 25 by 25, I'm going to put uh, a container, all right? So the container size is going to be 25 uh, by 25. Okay, good stuff. And I'm going to say it's going to be secular. And I will copy the color here. And I will paste it here. And uh, I will not just stop there. I will go ahead and right click on this and no not right click i'll just add a, a row inside this and in the row let me click to open this in the row i will add a text and then the text is going to be two and the color of the text uh let's go here at once and pick the color Control c all right and then i paste it here and there you go so the font size is uh let's see i think it's 700 by 16 so i will come here and say 700 by 16. i'll click on the row and center align it so that everything fits in well see we did a good job so i'll click on this and click on the container all right so what we need to do now is a stack so we will have to push it um we will have to push it a bit from the left. So let's say, uh, let me see, will it tell me? Um, okay, so it tells me 26, but it wasn't even inside this. So we would just have to use our mind. So let's say 50. So uh, this is it. I think 50 just worked uh, almost almost perfectly. So, uh, but I think it didn't work so perfectly, perfectly. So we can say um, 35. Nope, that didn't work at all. 40, uh, something like that. Okay, so I actually think um, it looks bigger here, 25 by 25. The, the, the container looks bigger. Hmm, I don't know why it doesn't look bigger here. Uh, so let's say uh, 45. And then there's some push on the bottom here, let's say 18. Uh, let's add more, let's say 40. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work, 40. Oh, it didn't work. So, uh, all right, so I think this is it. And uh, well, this is the best we can just quickly do. All right, so uh, what we need to do now is, um, you see this guy is not towards the end here, so we can just click on it and see the spacing in between. So 93.25, so we can just say 93. So we will say 93 here. Uh, no, we're going to use a stack, okay? Let's remove the, oh, I see, this was a problem. So, um, okay, so container, um, yeah, that was it, that was the problem. So because this would have been correct, it's 20. It's just supposed to be 20, so 20, great, that's it. All right, so now the stack is 93 from the left, so 93. Uh, okay, so now we don't have like proper dimensioning here. So that's why we did it. This did not fit in very well. So we say 63 uh, Okay, so I think this is pretty okay. So we'll leave it here All right, so we will go ahead and then just uh, you know Try to implement this screen and then maybe we will have to pause this design and move on to the next one maybe like have different parts in this so um, All right, let's go ahead and then just creates this hey hello so let's uh let's just copy this quickly and um click on this click on this as well and say uh row inside the row there's a text and so we paste it here and then uh let's see 
so it has like combinations here so one is 700 by 16 one is 400 by 16 so let's split these right so let's click this and control D it. and uh, let's uh, change this one let's take this off okay so then here in this side let's take this one's off great and then here this is going to be uh, one is 700 by 16 that should be this one so we'll click on here and say 700 then we make this 16 then we will try to um, the spacing here is 24 so I'll click here and add padding here 24 all right let's add padding on the top let's uh, say 24 here as well good stuff so we say 24 I believe you're learning so uh, good then let's add this search scenario, all right? So um, this is a text field, guys. So I wouldn't want to waste so much of time. I wouldn't want to waste so much of time. Let's go ahead and come to, uh, let's come here and look for uh, sign up. Which of them was it? Okay, it was a bottom sheet. All right, so let's just copy these text field, not just the text field, we have to copy the container, right? So this is it, like this. So I'm copying this, Control C, and then I go to Pages, and I go to Home These. I'll click on this and paste it. All right, guys, it's a lazy man's way of doing things, but let's do it, why not? And so I need to just copy these, search dishes and restaurants, and then come here to text field, and uh, paste it. All right, so then what we need to do is, um, let's take the dimension here. So 327 by 62, right? Is this still the same thing? Let's see, go to widget tree, 327. Is it 327? Uh, yes, it is. It is, it is, it is correct. So we need to put this icon here. And then let's click on the text field. Uh, Aha, now this one here is a little bit different. So let's click in here and give the container this particular color. Uh, yeah, this is quite different now. So uh, let's go ahead and put the search icon. So you click on the text field, scroll down, you will see something called icon properties. So you click on it and add a leading icon. It's going to be search. So you see here and we can pick this. So good. Now um, this is uh, 15 by 15, so you will give the icon size 15. That's it. It looks small, yeah? It looks pretty small to me too. So um, what's the, what do you think we should do? Well, it looks pretty small, I don't like it. So let's take it off, all right? So um, this is uh, the container. So I'll right click on it, wrap it in a row. Right, so that's this is another way of doing it. Click on this and add an image. Right, so the image is 15 by 15. Let's export that image. So let's click on this and export the image. All right, export search. Then, then we can go ahead and then add here 15 by 15. Would it also be so small? I think it will still be so small. But it looks bigger here maybe because i zoomed it in all right so we will figure it out let's uh let's change from network to asset and uh, bring the the image in and uh we bring the image in okay um aha uh -huh. so let's see the road and the text field okay this is not gonna work out this is not gonna work out. This is not gonna work out because um, except we except we wrap this uh, row in a stack. Yeah, except we wrap the row in a stack. But from what I see, this is pretty much not gonna work out. So let's leave it the way it was and then just uh, country Z, country Z, country Z. Uh, let's leave it like this. So. And then let's just click on this and try to see how we can push it downwards, like uh, give it some content padding. Uh, let's say 18. Uh, didn't still work. Okay, so uh, slightly. Not really perfect. Uh, uh, but normally you can just work on it and tweak things along the way. So uh, let me just give the padding on this. 
Um, let's go to inspect and say 16. Uh, right, so let's come here to container and say 16. All right, so we will adjust it with time. Okay, so um, and then this is uh, okay. So let's go ahead and do some other thing. Let's create uh, this scenario now. So this is gonna be a role as well. So I will just click here, Control C, click here, Control V, and copy this as well. And um, it's a uh, 400 by 20. I'm gonna delete this, click this one, and paste it and say uh, 400 by 20. 400 by 20 and then what I'm gonna quickly do now is uh, this is see all all right so um, I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see let's see let's see what do we do I'm gonna duplicate this so which is gonna give us this so it's 400 by 16 so um, I'm gonna paste it here and then uh, say 16 all right then I will go ahead and click on the row and add an icon. Okay, hold on. Yes, actually add an icon. Uh, let's search for icon. Okay, so this is icon. And then I'll click on it and say right. I'm going to search for right. And I think I'll pick something like this. The color is gray. So I'll copy this and paste it here in the icon color. And uh, that's it. So I will click on this and say and choose this, right? So like this, all right? So um, let's see what we're going to do with this. So here the spacing is 24 on the side. So I'll click on this icon and give it some padding on the right and say 24. Good stuff. And then here for this one, I will say padding is 132, 132 on the left, 132. So this is it, it's just perfect. Now we are done with that particular one, let's go ahead and then um, work on this. So these are, um, these are buttons, uh, well I think when you click on this, when you click on this, it should just, uh, I don't know, it's a carousel. I don't know how it's supposed to really work, but I think when you click on it, uh, I don't, it's not a toggle button, is it? Let's see. Let me close this. First of all, let's, uh, we're going to put it in a row. So let's click, let's create a row. So click on the column itself and add a row. Okay, I think after we're done with this one, we won't continue the design. We will create part two of this and then part three. And like that, we will create as many parts as possible until we are, we like exhaust some of the cool designs here. So we will go ahead and then create, um, what do we do here? Let's, uh, let's start with what? Let's start with what? Let's see. I want to see what a toggle button will look like if I told we want to use it that way. So this is a switch. Switch list title, switch, and then uh, toggle icon. So I think something like this. Does it have a background? Uh, this is not it. This is different, right? So this switch is different from this. It's totally different. Yeah, so it's not going to be these. Uh, can I see active track color? Uh, let's see. Let's give this a color and see what we see. No, it's not inactive, inactive terminal. Uh, let's see this. Use color. No, it's not, it's not these, it's not a switch. It, those are just containers. So I will click on this and put a, a container. Yes, so it's a container. So I will click on this and say container is 103 by 60. So let me just copy the, the colored ones. So copy the colored ones, 103 by 60. So 103 by 60. So we have 60 here. What we need to quickly do here is we'll just paste this here. And then um, what we need to do quickly again is we will just go ahead and, uh, you know, get this particular uh, guy, this container. So this is going to be 39. The border radius is 39. 
all right so um then what we need to do is this guy is 44 by 44 so inside this container we will click to add a role right inside that container and then the role is going to contain a container <laughs> nice the container is going to be secular and it's going to be 44 beautiful and so uh it's going to be grayish all right and then we will paste the color here let's look at it the padding here let's go to inspect the padding here is eight right so we will say eight for it great and then what else so there's a text here and uh, so there's a text inside the container so let's click on this particular one and add a text the text says all and uh, it's 700 by 14 so i paste it here and say 700 by 14 good stuff and then let's look at the spacing the spacing is 12 and um, i will come here and say 12. great now we have these now so let's go ahead and then just uh we will just duplicate it all right and um uh let's see let's see let's see let's see okay um we will duplicate it all right but before we duplicate it i want us to wrap it in something called list view because it's that's what is going to help us get the scrolling scenario scrolling effect so this is a container and this is the row okay so let's pick this container first and wrap this container wrap this wrap with a widget called list view all right uh it says invalid action now i will tell you why that didn't work now what we need to do for it to really work is um we're going to uh let's see how do we make this work Okay, so let's just go ahead and duplicate first. Let's duplicate this container, Ctrl D. And uh, the space between them is seven. So this one is 135. Um, this one is gonna be 135, 135. And uh, it's actually white. This is, it's, it's, it's white. And it says hot dog. So let's paste this and say, uh, let me just pick it once. I prefer to just copy it. So and just paste it here. It says hot dog. Uh, it's white. Um, now uh, there's some things that we need to do. It's white and the background is uh, white too. So it tends to disappear. So we will click on this and click on the container. And uh, we will give it some uh box shadow so we click this to give some box shadow so now you can see it somehow okay good now we will go ahead and then uh give it some i think it was was it seven let's click on this and see inspect it uh it's seven so we will just give it some padding here say seven and then um i will control d this again uh that's duplicate great so now we have the next one and uh this is gonna be burger burger okay so i'll just put this here and paste it now um the way it's supposed to work guys the way it's supposed to work uh let's say this noun uh it's not perfect because it's not perfectly perfect all right, so um, what do I do here? All right, let's try to see how we can make this work because this is supposed to be a carousel, right? It's like carousel rolling. So this is the roll that contains it. So if we wrap this inside, um, wrap this inside a list view, it works. So we have put it inside a list view. Good stuff. Congratulations to us. But I don't know why this is not showing now uh padding let's move this thing from the top uh here this is gonna be 20 let's give it some let's give that padding to the list view 
or, or not. Okay, let's finish up first so that we'll know what to give to what. Now, uh, the, the list view is supposed to be horizontal, but we're going to get a problem. Yeah, we, we ran into a problem. I wanted us to run into the problem. So let's just reload this. Now, the reason is because you need to uh, give the list view a definite, a finite space to be able to dominate, right? That means we need to wrap the, the list view in a container that has a fixed height and a, and a width, okay? So uh, let's just wait quickly for Flutterflow to load up the interface and so we can just redo it. I needed you to see the error because uh, most times, maybe when you're trying to do your carousel, you en encounter similar problems. So let's go back to home. And um, here in this part now, what we need to just quickly do, wrap this widget with, uh, wrap the widget with, um, with a container, right? So we will wrap it with a container. The container is going to take the dimension of this. Let's say, um, let's say infinite width right and then not infinite width sorry uh it's just going to take um maybe the size of the screen so uh so we're going to say we're going to say uh 60 the height is 60 uh the height is gonna be like 65 something like that maybe and then the width here is going to be uh the width of the screen let's say uh 350 uh, maybe 350 something like that uh, not exactly. No, let's use the width of the screen. That's infinite. Okay, good. Now we have this infinite scenario. Uh, the only problem that I have is the fact that the um, I need to give some padding to each of these containers. So uh, let's see. Let's click on this row and click on this container and add some padding at the bottom. Let's just say uh, four. Yes, so yeah, I just want us, otherwise we wouldn't see everything properly. So container and add four there, okay? So I think I should add the same thing here for everyone. So four, okay, so we're good now. So everything is fine. I think I should also add the, uh, you know, what I did for the other guys. So the box shadow here as well. No, good, good, we, we, we're good now. So we have this uh, list view, list view now is in a container and the axis was vertical before and we tried changing it to horizontal and things crashed. Now we will succeed. You see, we succeed now. It's working now because we can now do scroll it from left to right. So I will just click on this and click on the container and duplicate it. Now you can see that one I just duplicated because it's, um, it's, it's covered. Okay, well, you can see it somehow, right? So, um... All right, so let's go ahead and then click on the container that contains the list view and give it some padding. It's 20 on the top, so let's say 20. We're almost done. We're almost done with our work. Okay, so uh, let's see what we are gonna do next. Don't worry about this scenario, right? Should we worry about it or not? Let's add something else and see if things are gonna adjust. So let's uh, pick this. Com uh oh, not Ctrl D. Let's uh, Ctrl Z. Uh, let's actually. I just copied it and pasted it here, and then Ctrl C this, and paste it here, and then here is C all. So we just need to inspect. So this is gonna be ninety six. So this is going to be uh, ninety six. So ninety six. All right. So um. It didn't still work. Uh, let's let's see what we can do for this. So all let's give the spacing here for this one. Uh, it's twenty four. So for this container, we have to give it some padding here. Twenty four. Okay, now we're good. We're really good. So um, and then this is fine. What we need to do now is just create this scenario. This is going to be a list view that just keeps going down. So let's just quick, quickly create it. This is gonna be in 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 um in uh, a column. So I will click on this and uh, click on this and say I would like to wrap it in a row. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I'll put this in a row first. 
then put this column and in the column I'm gonna put the container here and the container is uh, this one here 327 by 137 let me copy the color code immediately 327 by 137 so I'll say 327 by 137 and paste the background color uh, border radius it says mixed I'll click it again to see the real border radius so uh, no okay so all right so um the thing is with this right let's go ahead and see some things let's see let's see let's see this is uh I can't really see the border radius for these uh, let's say it's 15 right so 15 and then I will center line you see this is what's why I put it in uh, a row okay so what I need to do now is I need to go ahead and um, put some things here now so this was a column this is a column and then there's a container so I need to put a text so I put a row first and just like I keep doing and then I put a, a text and then uh, I will go ahead and then just copy this text. This is going to be uh, 400 by 20. So I will just paste it. Okay. So uh, let's see what we are going to do here. Rose Gadam. 400 by 20. Good stuff. And, um, and then here. Okay. So... Uh, we will just go ahead and then click in this column and left align everything. And let's see the spacing. The spacing in between is 8. So I will say 8 for the top padding. And then I will click in this and duplicate. And then I will copy this and use it for the second part here. And paste it. Then I will get the color code. And I will paste it here. Good stuff. Now we're doing well, like we're doing really well. So let's see the space is five. So I will click on this particular row and reduce it to five. Okay, good. And then what else? We need to just create this particular thing. So I click on the column, click on this, and then add a row. And the row is going to contain different things. So let's start. So this is going to be uh, an image uh, I'll come to design and just export it then export this one as well and export this one as well so that's it so and this particular first one is 20 by 20 so I'll come back here and say add an image uh, 20 by 20 so 20 by 20 and um, from network to asset and then click on this to add the star and that's it okay so we have this and let me just close this quickly and um, I'll click on this row and add a text so this is the text that will be for uh, this so this is going to be 700 by 16 I paste it it's gonna be 700 by 16 good all right so uh, I will click on this Ctrl C uh, click on the row and Ctrl V and then click on the text, Ctrl C, click on the row, and Ctrl V. What else? Then the, the, the shape again, that's the, the image. I'm just copying it and pasting, just then I'll, I'll rearrange them. Okay, so there's no need to recreate things when you've already created them before. So, um, Ctrl C. Uh, then just go ahead and and click on this all right so we're good now we need to just go ahead and copy this free and then 
Uh, first of all, let's find the spacing. Let's find the spacing. It, okay, 4, then this is 24. So uh, let's click on this and say 4. And then click on this and say 24. 24. And then this is going to be 4 again. And let's just space what is here. Let's change the icon, the image for this to the truck. So this is it. And then this is also going to be 24 again. Uh, this is going to be 24. Okay. And then this is going to be 4. All right. So I'll click here to change the image of this one to this one. All right, so now that we've done this, let's check out the distance between this. It's 15. And then I'll click on this and give it a padding on the top, 15. Pretty good. We did a good job. Um, this one has a different uh, dimension, 23 by 16, right? And then this one, oh, okay, 23, this one alone, 23 by 16. So we come here and change it to 23. And we make this 16. Yeah, so that the car, the truck shows full. All right, good. Um, now we're done. We can just go ahead and this column now. Let's see. Uh, this column, we can just um, uh, wrap this column in. Is it? Is it a column? No, no, no. Let's, let's pick this. Wrap the whole of this row. Wrap it in a list view now the thing is this these things are supposed to come from database so and for it to come from database you have to put it in a list view and um that's it so this list view now space from the top is going to be 20 so yeah say let's say 20 and we're good and then here we can just duplicate but these things are supposed to come from database don't forget and so this is going to be this from here 28 uh where is it this one is going to be 28 all right so that's basically how this whole page works and uh i believe that you've been able to like learn a good number of things and um you have also uh, subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel like the video drop some comments if you have some comments i'll respond to them and um, in the subsequent videos, we will work on, in, you know, implementing some other screens so that you can know how to do some of these things. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if I told you you're a developer here, then you should also find ways to appreciate this, uh, you know, instrument called Flutterflow. Uh, because you can click here to view code and then you will see all the codes that makes up this entire design So you see here the splash screen. This is the code that makes the splash screen This is the code that makes this what particular one you see everything is knitted down and then this is the code for these This is the code for this one and this one and this one and then the login part and then the sign up part the home all right and then these are the codes that makes up the components the sign up bottom sheets all right so this is your pop spec the yaml and all of this is in the dart programming language so um it's one of the coolest things that you can do and uh, i really advise you to take this like super serious and it to make your career like super nice okay so good let's go back to food and just click to view this particular part of the replication all right guys please 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 click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this youtube channel and like the video as well drop comments if you have comments then please also turn on your notification icon your notification bell so that whenever i drop videos you will be able to see the videos all right so um this brings us to the end of the the class and uh this is what we were trying to achieve so far and this is what i was talking about so this is a carousel that i created just for you guys and uh, i didn't make this particular column scrollable so we can't really scroll we can just go ahead and then click on the main uh, column here now and then we make it scrollable all right so let's see is there any other column i don't think so this is fine now so you can actually get to preview it again um 
let's wait for a couple of seconds you see it so this is very beautiful well this drop downs we didn't really work on it very well so we will work on this and clean it and make it really neat when we are ready and then meanwhile you can in the subsequent you know tutorial you're going to be able to see how to put some images on this so that you can make your design even more interesting i will just put one image just to show you how it goes all right so this is it now you can scroll down and see how it looks like okay good stuff so uh for this one here what you could quickly do to just put an image there is uh if you come here and double click in this all right and then you come to design uh maybe click on it again you will see an image here so this is the image so we can just click to remove this one and then you see this image but um uh the way the designer did it uh this will be difficult to export let me try to export and see will we see this beautiful piece of meat yes we do so we can just go ahead and um, click on this container scroll down go to background image and say uh, from network to asset and then i just upload only one and just so that you can see it we will do more in the next videos okay so we upload the picture one so now it looks even more interesting you see this is basically the whole concept all right okay guys uh see you in the next uh, video tutorial bye for now